my name is Chad Harrell. Uh, our organization's name is Hendrick Automotive Group, and I am the Director of Talent Acquisition. The, the job stability outlook for technicians, um, you know, is, is really secure in, in terms of anytime we've, um, you know, we encounter a, whether it's a, you know, economic crisis or, you know, what we're experiencing today, um, you know, technicians, the, the stability for them really remains, um, you know, very strong. Um, we had to do uh, any layoffs or, or furloughs for any of our automotive technicians. Uh, in speaking with some of our peers and in, in other organizations, um, you know, they're experiencing the same thing. They're, they might be doing layoffs in, in other roles, um, but, uh, you know, within the dealership, but uh, they're keeping, you know, all their technicians on and a lot of their service advisors on and, and keeping them focused. Because a lot of our customers during these times when sales might dip a little bit, uh, they're utilizing the, the time to maintain their current, um, you know, vehicle and protect their investment in that current vehicle. You know, we anticipate that we're going to have, uh, we're going to see, you know, the number of technicians that we hire uh, consistently uh, continue to ramp up. Um, and that's really been the focus for our group over the past few weeks is, is making sure that uh, when things do turn around um, and we get back to our traditional uh, hiring volume for the month, that uh, we're in a good position to be hiring uh, automotive technicians to best serve our customers. In terms of career growth for automotive technicians, um, you know, there's a lot of, there's not as many barriers per se as there are in other, um, in, in other professions or, or industries. Uh, really, uh, you know, as an automotive technician, if you get on with the right company, um, you can, um, you know, really advance your career fast. Uh, you can do a lot of that by, um, you know, being willing to take a lot of the certifications that are offered through the manufacturer training, um, as well as advance your career with ASC certifications as well. Uh, and if you get with, as I mentioned, if you get with the right organization uh, like ourselves, you know, all that training is paid for uh, by the employer. So it's a it's a great industry in terms of being able to advance your your career as long as you have the support. Some of it is self guided, um, and you can grow your career a lot faster than you can in other professions. We really hone in on um, you know those soft skills so we take a look at you know attendance um, which is certainly important we understand you know the the hands-on uh, piece of the lab portion is also really important and that can kind of tell us how they're doing with the hands-on piece looking at those soft skills you know we want to make sure that during the interview we could dig into um, you know how they might interact with the customer. Uh, some of those soft skills being, you know, have a good attitude, um, you know, the appearance. Uh, we do have an appearance policy as an employer, so that's very important, um, as well as, you know, maintaining just a good positive attitude, um, being a team player, and um, being able to provide that customer service that our customers uh, expect of us as an organization. I think uh, the best advice I could give to a UTI grad or uh, someone that's considering going out into the industry is is really um, I would I would you know it is very competitive. They're going to be sought after, um, so I would encourage them to do their due diligence and homework on the any employer that they come into contact with. Um, you know, look beyond you know what your you know hourly rate starting might be um, to you know, really dig into the benefits that are available, what training opportunities, what the career growth, um, you know, has been. Ask questions about, you know, how other UTI grads have formed, um, you know, within the organization uh, previously. And uh, really just, you know, make sure it's a good culture fit and aligns with what's important to you as a candidate um, when you're considering employment. The way technicians can take advantage of the of, uh, staying, you know, up on the latest technology, a lot of it is anytime a a new um, a new update is is issued on a vehicle. A lot of the time, the uh, manufacturer will give us a training that we could, uh, or they'll administer, but it can happen in our our work pay, workplace virtually, um, you know, with all on the, the online um, you know training that they can do through the different. Uh, webinars and stuff like that. 
um, you know, it's in, in order to be able to complete a lot of warranty work, um, you know, for the customer on behalf of the manufacturers. As a dealer, we have to be able to make sure that our technicians are are completing those trainings and are certified in order to complete that work for the customer. The reason we choose to uh, recruit from UTI is, um, you know, the the frequency that they are continuing to provide, um, you know, employers with graduates, you know, graduating students. Uh, I think, um, you know, on a monthly basis, uh, the volume and need that we have to fill these roles it aligns really close with the number of graduates that they're putting in, out, putting out into the workplace, as well as the footprint, um, you know, that. UTI has across the country. It matches very close to, you know, every single market that we have dealerships in, um, you know. So we are able to, to work with students that might be local to the market where they're going to school, but we also have dealerships, so it's a good fit for us. I think UTI also does a great job preparing these students um, by setting good expectations on campus with some of the things that are important to automotive groups like ourselves. Um, that number one being, um, you know, focusing on some of those soft skills. Uh, more and more of our customers uh, are, are opting to speak with the technician um, that may have worked on their vehicle. And some of the soft skills um, that we, you know, require for our technicians um, in, in terms of employment. Uh, UTI does a great job setting those expectations why students are on campus. The training aids that UTI has on campus and the facilities that they have our state of the art, they do a great job as our industry is changing, making sure that they adjust their curriculum, um, some of the equipment that the students get their hands on while they're in the facilities there at UTI. And a lot of it mirrors exactly what we're seeing in the dealerships. The blended learn, uh, learning model is, is really going to be similar um, to what they'll experience once they get out to, you know, begin their career with the dealer group or or any automotive profession. Uh, a lot of it is online um, and, and in virtual classrooms. Uh, same with uh, a lot of the ASD testing uh, now is completed online as well. Uh, so I think it really just kind of prepares them for what they'll experience, the type of environment that they'll continue to, um, you know, maintain certifications, recertify, get new certifications in order to, to continue to grow uh, with their current employer.